Just start her in Three, two, one. Can you see us now? Can you hear us now? How's the signal yeah, strength out there? Here, Not yet, but they will be. <laughs> Holy smokes, this is moving in a little quicker than we thought. Come here, Pete, over here. Okay. We're here at the end of the runway at Nevada County Airport and we're storm chasing a good cell here in Northern California today. And it's right off the end of the runway and it's been producing some pretty fair thunder. We're just on the edge of it. What, it's heading that way that to helps. the north and a little bit towards us as well okay so pete get that uh get that mini ipad and let's show them the thunder cell without disrupting the pattern anyways there's the wall cloud right there off the end of the runway that's looking towards the west the cell is the cells are moving from south to north there's a low pressure area here it is hello pete so there's there's the cell here we're located right about here and we're looking at this cell and it's moving to the north that direction there now <laughs> storm chasing in northern california is nothing quite like storm chasing in the midwest i've only had the opportunity to do that once or twice and that is fascinating but still we got uh, for Northern California weather this time of year, this is this is some pretty fun and interesting weather. P, you gotta wash your face. You got tacos all over you. Don't worry about it. Um, so low pressure is located off of the coast of California at about the Oregon border area, and it's pumping in a lot of moisture. This storm produced over two and a half inches of rain here at the 3,200 foot elevation. The Blanco Lirio Global World Headquarters is just a couple miles away from the airport here at Nevada County. And so that's a good amount of rain for the month of May, for the entire month of May, and it just did it during this one storm. This low pressure is gonna, it's slowly circulating, kind of stagnated off the coast of California, and is gonna slowly spin out of here. I'm watching these mamulus clouds right over here. For thunder and lightning, we might have to duck back into the uh, command, mobile command post here and get out of the way of some lightning strikes, Pete, because this is this wall cloud is getting closer and closer to us. I want to capture a good blast of lightning while we're out here live. And there's some more cells popping up that might be mo more in our direct direction flying directly over us here in the next half hour or 45 minutes or so. Look at that, you can see some cloud mist ripping up through the valley over there, Pete. And you see the rain. You can normally see the next ridge over about three miles away. It's completely obscured by rain right now. That's a good visibility indication. The winds right here now are out of the, well, they're variable as heck, out of the southwest and east at about seven to 10 knots. I missed the, uh, the, the live chat there. We probably should pull up the live chat on the, uh, on the uh, other, on the iPad mini, but I wanna keep the iPad mini on the radar scope. Pete, get that iPad mini and let's get an update on where this, uh, on where this cell is on the radar screen. Actually, that iPad mini, that cell radar that's KCRA Doppler's radar. It's going to be about six minutes behind. It's rolling. It's rolling in right over the top of us, Pete. All right. Let's see what you got there. Yeah, hold it sideways like that. Okay, there's the cell, and we're located right there. And so, it, yep, it has migrated right over downtown Grass Valley now. Boy, it's getting cold. It's cold out here now, huh? You can feel that cold air sinking out of this cell. What's driving this uh, this weather today is we've got big breaks in the clouds. Look over here to the east. There's some breaks in the clouds, and that's driving some some warm temperatures. Once that sun gets down through the clouds, driving the instability in the atmosphere to create these big thunder cells today. We had some hail already earlier today, and I'm sure this cell is producing some hail as well. Yeah, get Pete to be a future meteorologist. 
thunder and very dark in North San Juan right now. Yeah, it's coming up your direction, North San Juan, from south to north. And it's just west of us here, so that should put you right in line. What's the frequency to turn the lights on? One, uh, what is it? 122.725, I think. This is homeschooling with Pete today on the weather. So, Pete, what causes hail in these conditions? Yeah, the hail gets caught up in the instability, or the rain gets caught up in the instability of the atmosphere, and it keeps melting and then getting pulled up and refreezing, dropping, and melting and refreezing and getting bigger and bigger. Of course, here in California, we're lucky to get pea-sized hail, and of course, in the Midwest, you folks can get baseball-sized hail because <clears throat> you've got some strong instability there. Good for you, Pete. <laughs> Well, where's all the beef on this on this cell? I think I'm already looking at the other side of this cell, and I can see the ridge three miles away there. I think the cell's only about three to five miles wide. We're getting a bit of the gust front from the cell now. We had a huge gust front pass through this morning about 5 a.m. knocked some big branches out of the trees. Get over here, Pedro. Most of the lighting that's been occurring has been cloud to cloud lighting, so the lighting's up high in the clouds, are not as good as the clouds. I think I saw some hail. hail is yeah. it coming? I think you're right. It's certainly cold enough for it. We're not quite as concerned about uh, air to ground lighting, but uh, just stay, by, <laughs> stay nearby here, Pedro. Don't run off too far. So there's the there's the edge of the cell right there. It's almost overhead us. Some of this rain's getting blown out. Remember, as a thunder cell moves, the the weather drops out of the cell and then and then um, takes off every direction. Once it hits the wind and the rain takes off every direction. Once it hits the ground, creating like little Microsoft conditions. Pete's already inside the truck. <laughs> Microsoft? Did I say Microsoft conditions? <laughs> Microburst conditions. That's why you don't want to mess with these thunder cells. No flying here at the airport right now. Now the wind has calmed down a bit. And the rain is picking up. I think we're getting into the middle of this of this cell. Is it hail on the windscreen, Pete? Let's see. Let's show me. Oh, I also saw some Oh yeah, you can see it forming on the windscreen there. Yeah, pull up that weather radar again. Let's see. Can I flip this camera around here, Pete? Let's see if we can take a look around at the sky. Okay, that's looking off to the east. Here's, yeah, here's our cell. And uh, where are we now, Pete? Whoa, 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 don't mess this up there. You gotta get us back on the scope. There's the edge of the cell right now. There's the mammulus type clouds right there. And then uh, just a good steady rain on the inside of this cell. Well, shoot, I was hoping for more thunder and rain in here, Pedro. More cells are forming up to our south that are going to be working right overhead our way here in a little bit. Yeah, thanks, Mike. 32725. Yeah, good. On the frequency of the lights. So, uh, speaking of... Uh, Thunderbird or correction. Speaking of snowbirds yesterday, one big correction to my story. I mentioned that the thunder, that the snowbirds nine ship formation is the biggest formation demonstration team you'll see. Well, that's only here in North America. We only have thunderbirds, blue angels, and snowbirds. Uh, but of course, over in Europe, you guys got the red arrows and the Italian oh, team with those amazing uh, three colored tricolored air shows that smoke that they put on and uh, so they also fly nine ship formation demonstrations got your flying cowboy hat on Pete yeah, all right said, the flying yeah you better keep your hat on and keep my hat on too we need it my my hair needs a haircut and a wash <laughs> about Delta triple sevens what was that about the Delta 777s? How come they keep the uh, 7.6s? I don't know. 
don't understand. They've got they've got the infrastructure, they've got the route structure to support the seven sixes, but not so much the triple sevens over at Delta. Kablamo weather. We keep waiting for the one big thunder crack. We wanted to get it live, but it ain't happening, Pete. I wonder if these cells are are uh, petering out as they hit up here into the foothills. If they're not getting enough instability, if there's not enough warm sunshine up here to keep these cells growing, I think they might be petering out. What happened there? Still employed at AA. Well, oh, what'd you do? Did you heat that thing up with your breath? <laughs> Maybe. There, that's better. Uh, as far as I know, I'm still waiting for the uh, paperwork from the FAA uh, regarding my medical to uh, why I can go back to work. So I'm just patiently waiting for the FAA paperwork still. It's been at least 90 days, and this could take a very long time. So right now, I'm just I'm stuck here doing my broad broadcasts here instead of getting to work. What, what are they saying, Pete? What, what's that? I don't have my glasses. Mamulus clouds, yes, we got them right overhead. Will they ever get back to normal? It'll be a new normal. It's going to be a different, completely different industry for quite a few years. Up oh, here comes, here comes some stronger hail now. It was posted by one of the. Oh, Those parked airplanes. Do they fly those parked airplanes? No, they're parked, man. They they get around to servicing them a little bit, but. Not much flying of them going on, and they're they're slowly adding capacity back into the airline system. So they are slowly getting a couple of those airplanes flying again, but not too many. I mean, it's still down 90% from what it was. No, this is not Auburn Airport. This is Grass Valley, Nevada County Airport, the home drome of the uh, Blanco Lirio Global Weather Headquarters. We're sitting here off the end of Runway Seven looking off to the west here at this good sized thunder cell that's passing through right now. Now it's just moving towards our north now and just come coming around us, just missing us. So we caught it just on the corner. Look at that, Pete. You can begin to see the Sutter Butte some 30 miles down that way in the valley. So there's your sucker hole if you want to go flying now and cut through to the valley below and escape and escape the weather up here but there's another cell just Whoa. to the left of us that's approaching us so there's a narrow window of opportunity right there if you had to get out of here but I'd rather be here on the ground wishing I was up there rather than the other way around <clears throat> Four flight next rad. Uh, the cell is just north of you. What yeah, you yep. Yeah, that's like, this cell right I'll here, just back. to our north. Well, you want me to see the comments? Yeah, you want to see the comments? Yeah. Yeah, we'll need, <laughs> we'll need some good luck with that paperwork. Thanks, guys. Uh, New Jersey lockdown. The water for the area. Um, yeah, more water. Desperately needed water for the area. It's been a light year for rain and especially snow. I just Hi, checked Pete. out the uh, Oroville. Hello. <laughs> I just checked. <laughs> You're getting to be a natural ham at this. Um, we just hello checked again. the water level at Oroville Reservoir Hi. is hovering right around 820 feet. It looks like it's peaked out already for the year and that level's already coming down despite this last bit of rain, two and a half inches Tacos. of rain. Here at the tacos. Blanco Lirio headquarters, we did. We had tacos for lunch. Can you see it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we're kind of living off of last year's rain over at Oroville. And this is the snow level right now is up over 7,000 feet. What little bit of snow and hail is falling. It's mostly rain at this point. Blanco Pedro. <laughs> Take my hat off, Pete. I want to need it. There's a river. Let's, let's, is there a river? <laughs> let's turn this camera around here. See what's going on? On your hat. Okay, so there's looking to the east. There's the cell just passing off to our north now. Looks like it's dissipating, maybe. I understood they need to be flown on a regular basis. They, they don't need to be flown on a regular basis, the airliners. They can be serviced on a regular basis. <clears throat> 
instead of being flown. It's best if they're flown. Zoom in a little bit. There's the Sutter Buttes well off to our east. And that's where these storms are, the cells are popping up is there in the Sacramento Valley. The sun's coming through, heating up the atmosphere and getting these uh, cells to pop up. Of course, the, the low pressure is way off the coast of California over there still. Pumping in the cold air and moisture. Then the sun comes through, heats up that valley floor, gets the instability rolling, and we got another big cell. Fairly good sized cell. We'll have to pull it up on the radar scope and see. Coming towards more of a direct hit at us from the south. There's Pete out standing in his field there. What do you see, Pete? What's the report? I don't know. Uh, there's some steam. Fog, I think. Yeah, somebody, if somebody needed to get into the airport now, they could just get in here, just now, straight in on runway 7. <clears throat> yeah. Pete, why don't you see if you can pull up the radar screen one more time? Let's get a uh, read, iPad? Uh, iPad, and let's see if we can get a read on this next cell. It's we're just getting some steady rain at this point. No lightning or thunder. Banner Mountain right over there is just getting on the edge of the rain too. <laughs> yeah, no luscum flying today. Can you see it on there, Pete? <clears throat> we'll pull it up. We'll get uh, Pete our inner, our uh, what do you call the beginning meteorologist? Intern. Okay, now zoom in on us there, Pete. I know the, the water's gonna mess you up a little bit, the rain. Weather app we're using today is uh, the KCRA local channel three weather Doppler radar online. A lot of folks are also using their four flight radar. Those folks that have a subscription. That's it. I'm trying to okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so there's grass huh, there's grass valley, there's that cell, and what's going on down here? This is the wow, that's a long one too. This cell is feeding up towards us right now. That's that cell right over there, Pete. And it's looks like it's coming right towards us and uh gonna produce a lot of probably a lot of rain more than anything else. Lightning and hail in Auburn. Okay. Coming on the, uh, yeah, that's the one leaving Nevada City just off to it our... Boy, it really came over town, didn't it, Pete? It's, in, it's, it's right Nevada centered Nevada. over downtown Nevada City. You know, see if you can get get the action in Auburn right yeah. now. Our house is like right there. Yeah. Now zoom out and see if you can get Auburn. Uh, we got a report that it's it's storming pretty good in Auburn right now. A screen protector, yeah. We should get the. We should need Juliana out here with an umbrella. Okay, that's good. All right. Right there. Okay, I see. There's one cell there in Auburn, and then it's the bigger cell is just off to the west of Auburn, and that's the one we're looking at right there. That's heading up our direction. We've also been looking for any kind of little funnel cloud activity. Pretty extremely rare to get any tornado activity here in Nor Northern California. Occasionally you get one or two that might touch the ground in the valley. Very small tornadoes if they ever get them. But a funnel cloud or two this time of year is not too uncommon. But this, this wall here is a little less well defined than it was a while ago. What you got there, Pepe? Ah, good job. Uh huh. On the guy, and the, I haven't got any updates on the guy on the runway in uh, Austin. Cover the what spelling? Oh, what's that, Pete? Do you hear it? Yeah. What is it? So we got some thunder at. Yeah. We 
finally get some thunder out of that cell to our south approaching us. Oh, oh yeah, now it's over here. So it's rolling cloud to cloud across there. Good. Just filmed the cell over Lincoln and Rockland. It's coming your way. It's a nasty one. Good. It will be interesting to see if it keeps the strength up or if it's going to be uh, losing its strength as it heads into the foothills here. You guys down in the valley have the good instability. All right, we got some thunder out of that one. Finally. I'm storm waiting. Yeah, instead of storm chasing, we're storm waiting. The hurry up and wait <laughs> channel. <laughs> Lieutenant Pete, the observer here, yep. Rain and bad here in Georgia this morning. IFR approaches, yes, there is a GPS approach into runway 07. It's been uh, on again and off again as far as certified, approved, but there is a uh, GPS approach into runway 7. And for years, we've had a VOR approach off of the Marysville VOR, a very non-precision approach into runway 7 here at Nevada County. Pete, what's that, uh, what's the, what's on the radar scope there? Is that cell moving up, getting closer? Or are you still struggling with that umbrella? <laughs> no weather in Houston today. Yeah, this cell's moving. Oh, a little more thunder to our north from the cell that left us. A mess of things. Are we storm chasing? Yeah, we're trying to be storm chasing. This is about as good as it gets in Northern California. We're all at home homeschool and there's not a whole lot else to do. Yeah, Mike, Mark Finan is a big inspiration for all of us here locally that are bit of a weather nerd <laughs> and he's a great local meteorologist with years of experience and let me flip this around if you follow Mark Finan on KCRA he has recently taken to social media and hey, is oh it's Jennifer Scanlon that must be uh, Julianne uh, is that Julianne, Julianne online right oh boy that's <laughs> your sister and, and he does uh, great live broadcasts uh, on, on his Facebook page, and he walks you through all the tools that he uses to help him forecast the weather, including all the models and modeling that he uses. Very interesting. I'd love to get an interview with him or spend a day with him, learning what he does in the office and how he distills all that weather information to come up with a, with a daily weather forecast. That's Mark Finan at KCRA Channel 3, our local uh, our local weather guy. And is he, uh, he's coming back on live at 3.30? Okay, good. If you're there, say a hat. Hat. Watch out for lightning. Yeah, we've been mostly uh, cloud to cloud lightning out here. Haven't seen any cloud to ground lightning. And we got the mobile command post we can retreat to if we need to. Hey, look at that. Yeah, Pete. You have to check that spelling. What did... I don't have my glasses on. Did I misspell what something again say? in the title? Oh, don't do that, Pete. Yeah, mess it up. <laughs> Wait, what? what does that say, Pete? Yeah, just still in. Will you it's ever be answer. worth flying the... I gotta get my glasses on. Yeah, it hard. It's hard. Meteorology is hard. <laughs> no, no, I can't see nothing now. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, storm? It Let doesn't. I misspelled storm. See, that's why I got to put these glasses on. There, see, I should have done that for. Oh, I can read your comments all of a sudden. Storm chasing, yeah. Colorado, you guys know a thing or two about thunderstorms up there. Yeah, yeah. Mark Finan's been around here for years. Let's take another gander at this cell out to our south it's still hanging out towards the south there's there's mom or julianne What's julianne say? she says yes that's her cool. so we're still quite a ways away from that uh well that cell's still a good three five miles away if 
if we could see behind these clouds, we'd see a little more, or these trees, we'd see a little more of that rain, rain shaft over there. One, it's too cold. It's too cold. Looking off to the west, we still see the Sutter Buttes. It's too cold. It's too cold. <laughs> What's too cold? Your hands? Yeah. <laughs> Need to put them in your pockets. <laughs> yeah, if you set that umbrella down, it's going to fly away. And that's the cell just to our north we've been watching uh, fly past us. Just past us. Bad Thunder Lightning in Newcastle Penryn might be coming your way. Yep. Storm pointing. But it's cold. Yeah. Spe Pete's sponsored by Jumping Beats. You don't like to walk anywhere, do you, Pete? You like to oh. run, skip, and hop. Yeah, just get your hands in your pockets. You'll warm it right up. Working. Good and sunny in DFW. Man, when thunderstorms hit DFW, that whole system just falls to pieces. The whole airline system just falls to pieces in, in Dallas. They do a pretty incredible job working around those storms in Dallas, but still it hugely impacts the airline operation. Tweet your video link here. See, I, I got to get on the Twitter feed. I've never got on the Twitter feed. I'd love to get this connected somehow up with Mark Fine in some kind of way uh, to share with him the weather information around the North State. He likes it when people chime in with, with uh, the local Pete, conditions yes, in their local area. What? Hello. Um, <laughs> he he reminded him of himself when he was a kid. Wait, what? Did you say something? Wait, Tornado down. Alley in Wichita, Kansas. Did yeah. What about all those airlines parked out there? What? Airliners parked out there in Tornado Alley. What? Uh, it say looks it like again. a good I case for some insurance. See, the cops are coming in too fast. Stuck in Lodi again. Good tune. Hello. Hi. Yeah, Denver's terrifying in a storm. That's a natural fact. That's a heck of a place to put a hub when the weather hits in Denver there. Hello, people. Use the channel name as your Twitter handle. That's a good idea. I probably should just get on get, get on there and do that. I just so much to keep track of between between the uh, Facebook and the YouTubes and everything else. Emails. Oh, one you wrote that, Julianne. What that I misspelled? Yes, yeah, you said. <laughs> I was saying we get Julianne on there to fix. We need Julianne to be our editor back in the studio to fix Dad's mistakes out here in the field and fix the spelling on our. <laughs> <laughs> on our YouTubes. Who's the other people? Apologize. Just overcast in Redmond, Washington. What? <laughs> S yeah, where's the storm? Where's wow, the storm chasing, we... Pete? Come on. These guys want some action. Cabrero! We're Cabrero! still looking for this cell. Uh, it's getting Cabrero! closer. Cabrero! The you going to make your own yeah. thunder? There's the cell right over there. I don't hear a whole lot of activity. From it, we had some thunder coming out of there. How about we go back to home and then go right to the Because you can see better from here. Why? How about um, James and Charles? Yeah, they've got a good view over at their house, but their signal is terrible over there. No good signals. The Kablamo, that's right. Kablamo. You got to get some. You got to get some merch rolling there, Pete, with Kablamo on it. Just cloud and rain like up in Portland. Huh, that's closing in a little bit to our east. My, my hands are still cold. Is Julianne saying anything? I think that cell's rolling on here. Wow, thanks. A mess of things. Stodem chasing is kind of like snipe hunting, <laughs> especially here in Northern California. <laughs> it is. And there's Adam. And there, folks are saying hi to mom. Register the copyright, Pete, for Kablamo. Should be with two L's, one, two M's. I'm not sure quite how to best spell it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Send him a tweet if you send Mark Fine in a tweet. Orville Spillway is doing just fine. The water level is not even close at Orville. It's as we reported earlier, the the water level up at Orville is at 820 feet. Some what is that? 
What's uh, 820 from 900, Pete? Uh, what's 20 from 180? It's still 80 feet from the from from the top. It's not even up to the spillway level at Oroville, so they couldn't even use it if they wanted to use it. And the water level has peaked out at just a little Julia, over 820 feet, and it's already heading downhill at Oroville. We need more rain here in Northern California because we didn't get enough snow this year. So, so we're watching all this rain very closely hello, here in Northern California. Um, yeah, he's got the he, yeah, Flying hello. Cowboys hat. Who said that? Ow! Corey Robin the from the Flying Cowboys. Is this the authorities I coming to run us off here yet, Pete? Are we in trouble what? again already? Jennifer Scanlon, what are you saying? <laughs> Pete. Okay, it's getting darker now, Pete. I think it's going to start raining pretty good here. Well, we might have to get duck into the truck. This rain, the cell to, just to the south of us is coming in closer. Hey, there's an airplane running up. Get over here, Pedro. Is he gonna blast off? Or is he just, they might be doing a maintenance run up, up there on an airplane. Do a little dance, Pete. Do a little rain dance, Pedro. <laughs> okay, yeah, good, que uh, good question. We are here at Nevada County Airport, Grass Valley, California, off the end of runway 07. Pete's doing a rain dance for us here. <laughs> While we patiently wait our storm chasing, or stodum chasing, as I misspelled, in the live feed here, watching a couple of uh, good-sized cells move through northern california and some fairly fairly heavy and unusual rain for this late in the season here in northern california so that's looking to the east <laughs> dancing very good pete what's that game you play that has all the dancing in it fortnite okay here comes that cell it's here now pedro here comes the rain again. That's looking off to the west. S Sutter Butte's out there. And this cell is just coming up on us now. Pete, can you pull up the weather radar inside the truck there without getting it all wet? <clears throat> and I'm gonna use this. Yeah, get your brother one. Woo! Okay, see if you can pull up the, uh, the radar screen. Boy, it looks like we're already looking out. Looks like this cell's a, well. Uh, it's, it's got a it's got a little bit of thickness to it. Coming up. Save yourselves. It's not too bad to city. Well, it's still kind of. Yeah, you don't want to catch cold this time of year or the, yeah, during this has, particular season. Yeah, it, can you zoom? It, well, that's the one to the. Over Julianne. That's the one to our north. Look to our south. Good. And is that currently refreshed, Pete? What do we got going there? Zoom out a little bit there. The storm's moving pretty slow. The winds right now are only at just about seven knots or so. So maybe seven to ten knots. A little higher winds aloft. <clears throat> well, that's it. That's the whole cell. I think we're right in the middle of it now. Because I can see the edge of the cell to the south. <laughs> There's the edge of it to the north. The rain dance worked, Pete. It worked. You got more rain. Good job. You're hired. <laughs> Good on you. Okay, there's the airplane that was doing the maintenance uh, engine run there. That's looking to the east now. And that <clears throat> looks like the center of the cell is just right over there. That's the garbage trucks making all the noise down there. And there's still a lot of rain right there to the south, so this is kind of a long skinny cell, north and south. Yeah, a lightning detector would be cool. There's been so far, so no thunder, no lightning here. 
on this cell. I'm afraid these cells are kind of pooping out as they head up into the foothills. They're losing that natural instability from the heat of the sun down in the valley. Now looking off to the west, you can't see the buttes at all. Currently, Alaska. Yeah, we're gonna make Pete our local meteorologist and weather storm chaser. The next, uh, what was it, Jim Cantori? Pete Cantori, meteorologist. <laughs> Use some of that rainwater and wash that taco off of your face. <laughs> There you go, rub it off on my clothes like you always do. <laughs> <laughs> Central Texas. Well, a portion of this cell has already passed by us. And the next chunk of this cell is inbound. Yeah, it's a good Toyota. That truck's... I don't know, it's old, well over 20 years old and just keeps on going. I'm going for 300,000 miles on that baby. Little more weather inbound from the south. That's close. Look at that. The weather window just closed in from the uh, to the west. Meteorologist. <laughs> yeah. So there's no getting out of getting out of here VFR now to the west. It's just shut down that quickly so we had a brief window in between storms in between cells it's too cold Stop. I'm soaking, wet. soaking wet well where's all the thunder and hail we were looking for it's just rain it's just turned to rain and it's the cold, the low last night was about 42 degrees, and it got up to about 55 degrees here today. When the sun came out, it got very warm. Now it's really cold. You can feel that cold air coming from the low pressure, coming coming along with these storms. You can get inside there, Pete. Get warmed up. Well, I just know the minute we hang up this live feed, we're going to have a great big light show to share with everybody, but <laughs> it's just not happening fast enough for us here. Been at it for 35 minutes and no big thunder, thunder show. Where'd Pete go? Where'd you go, Pete? I think he's inside the, the command post there, the mobile command post. The car swallowed him up. Well, shoot, that looks like that's it from here. It's just going to be a rainy, a rainy cell, a cold, rainy thunder cell with, without a lot of hail or thunder or anything in it now. Usually you get these cells come up into the foothills and they get lifted and they get pretty active. But uh, today I think all the activity is down in the valley below and not so much up here in the hills. Just turned into rain. Just IFR here at Nevada County Airport again. Down to, eh, we got maybe a mile and a half of visibility in the rain right now. Winds have died off. Yeah, this one's an automatic Toyota. NTSB, yeah, that'd be an interesting job, all right. The clouds got scared of Pete. Pete's rain dance was a little too good. It just turned the whole thing to rain instead. <laughs> yeah, fear of the clouds. Hey, Pepe, open the door. See if we get one more read on the weather radar there. Pete, tune up the weather radar one more time there. Show us what's going on.
We'll see if we can get Pete to tune up the weather radar. Take one last look here. Looks like it's just going to be a steady bout of rain off to our south there behind me. And that's going to be it. Pepe Pedro. Yeah. What do you got there, Pete? Let's flip this around here. What do you see there, Pepe? Yep, there you go, right over Grass Valley. Okay, so we got one cell, one. Yeah. So yeah, it's dropped off just green and very little yellow. Now zoom out just a little bit. Yeah, that's right over us right now. There's an, let's go look right over here, Pete. Let's look right, let go for a second, let go, let go. Ooh. Yeah, the cells are losing their, losing their strength. They're just turning into big bands of rain here, not so much big, heavy thunder cells. Oh, that's where's it? Oh, that's way over in Nevada. Elko, that was that big band of rain that came through here at about five o'clock this morning, I bet you. Knocked all those branches down. All right. That looks like that's going to be about it for us here today. Just more cold rain. We're going to get some more riding in. Had a nice weekend. Went down to. Uh, Columbia Airport in Columbia, California and checked out the Luscombe Flying has been canceled like so many events because of the current economic situation. Uh, so we only got together with a couple of local Luscombs. Had a great time chatting with those guys. Had a great motorcycle ride, about 450 mile ride, two day ride, camped out overnight. Get this weather to pass through here and we can get back on the trail again soon it's gonna be epic trail conditions around here with all the moisture in the ground and the snow gone so coming right out up into Memorial Day weekend as those trails that are open will be open we can go enjoy they'll be just perfect what they call hero dirt conditions so Pete come here and say goodbye open up the door and say goodbye we got to get going <laughs> Are you warm in there? Yes. All right. Bye, bye. Okay, we're going to get going. Thanks so much for watching us on this live feed. We were hoping for a little more thunder activity today. The conditions looked perfect for it, but it just turned out to be a, more of a rainy day. We'll fix that bye. spelling in the title. Bye. There it is. There's a little thunder. Ah. <laughs> there it goes. We finally got some thunder. I know as soon as we hang up, it's going to start ripping. All right, we'll see you guys here. Thanks so much for your support here on YouTube. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't already. That'll help spread the word on this channel around YouTube. But more importantly, it's your support on Patreon that really makes all of this worth it. Thanks so much for your support. We'll see you here. Oh, I'm too cold to punch the button, Pete. Hit the... There we go.